it may not be safe to park in the middle of our parking lot, but you know what is safe? Simply Safe. And today's video is sponsored by Simply Safe. And guys, always keep in mind, there's no safe like Simply Safe. Guys, Simply Safe is a comprehensive security system for your home with advanced sensors and cameras to detect threats from break ins, floods, fires, and more. It's the holiday season. Thieves are out. They're looking for packages on your doorstep. You always run the risk of someone breaking in. Why not have an awesome security system that can alert your phone wherever you are with cameras, glass break sensors, doorbell security cameras, and more, all available through Simply Safe? Simply Safe also has 24 7 live guard protection where professional monitoring agents can see and speak live to to intruders in your home, helping to actually stop crime in real time. Simply Safe's combination of advanced sensors, cameras, and monitoring technologies give you the peace of mind that who and what you care about is protected. The greatest part about Simply Safe is you pick out some of their many products on their website to customize a system for your home, and then you install it yourself. So you're not waiting around for someone to come install it. You can easily set up a complete system in under 30 minutes in your house. Simply Safe on home. There's so many beauties of the Simply Safe system like unlocking and locking your deadbolts from your phone, arming and disarming the system from your phone, and viewing your own cameras wherever you may be. And guys, this is all for less than $1 a day. Simply Safe has some great value. And right now, guys, you can save 40% off on your Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect Monitoring. And all you gotta do is visit simplysafe.com slash Cletus. Make sure you use my link, it's in the description below as well. Again, that's simplysafe.com slash Cletus. Get 40% off. Thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fraud YouTube channel. If there's not a hole in this hood, is it really a hood? 100%. Dude, what the heck's going on in here? Oh, yeah. What kind of shop is this, guys? Big factory car, guys. You know, I was a little disappointed in, uh, in our fan base. All the comments are saying, it looks good. <laughs> I'm like, Ty is converting the people, dude. I don't know. Evil. I don't Real know how to feel movie. about all this. Real race car movie. <laughs> we need to get this puppy wrapped. So once you get that on, I think old Project Prime's gonna swing by. But guys, today we're putting McFlurry to the test. We're gonna try and make some hits tonight with the Coyote. Whew. We really need it to go well because we're going right to World Cup as soon as it's finished. So just wrapping up the few last things and we'll go do some testing. Oh, girl! Doc. You got a bad injector, bud. Oh, man. It's... All right, we'll pull that fuel rail off real quick, guys, Sam. Yeah, these are all clicking really well. That one's yeah. The spare's in the trailer? Yeah. Shoo. All right, guys, before we go over to the dyno with McFlurry, we're going to weigh it. So we have to be 32.50 for our class. We already added some weight to the car, and we're going to add Jack's in and his hood, and we're going to see what we weigh. 32.50. Our scales read a little light, we know that. So as long as we're close to that 3200 mark, we think we'll be uh, dialed in for World Cup. You in there, Daxton? Oh, He's in. He's got extra 30. Phew. All right, bring her down. You ready, dude? Yeah. Moment of truth, big time. Granted, we already added way back, but just the Godzilla to Coyote swap, we probably lost a lot. Oh, we're dialed. Oh, we're dialed. 32.60. Brother, dude, you're incredible. <laughs> so he weighed it and went and bought a bunch of metal and put it on, and uh, we're 10 pounds over. What's the dude, you can't gain or lose an ounce this uh, week. Well, hopefully, ours are working accurate. Like, right now, <laughs> you know, fortunately, if I take a poop, it right. would. 
You're fifty six point six percent nose. Okay. I think that's pretty good, right? Yeah. It was it was like fifty eight before. Nose. Okay. All right. So we're so dialed. Good. All right. On the dyno we go. <laughs> I just punched the trans brake for a second. Did you hear that? Sounds like it. It's gonna have a hard time getting through that converter. It sounded tight. Is that the same it sounded tight. No, it's a new converter. Oh, okay. Way smaller cubic inch engine, so we might have to lay some. We got a dump. No, we don't have a dump. To figure it out. I just wanted to hear real quick. Didn't sound ideal. All right. Well, you know. We'll sort that out. First pull. We got no boost in it. We have five pounds on the dome control, so we shouldn't make much boost. We're just trying to feel it out. We're gonna do like four thousand to six thousand RPM and just. Little See baby what we pole. got. Yeah, we don't want to blow it up. You know what I mean? So let's do this. something real quick we're gonna make another pull how it was and then we're gonna make another pull with 20% more fuel because we're having an issue where we don't trust our wide bands right now we just added this though so more yeah. carbon fiber should make more power you know Sick. so these next two pulls are just test pulls let's do them real quick make sure everything's 100% good before we start adding boost Okay guys, all of our testing is done. We're making about six pounds of boost on those test runs, 510 horsepower. We don't need more than that. A lot more, man. It needs a one in front of it. Exactly. So we're gonna turn up the boost to about 10, 15 pounds on this next one. <laughs>
it'll make him power too when he got out of it. As you can see, it's still blinding. 835. 835. We're on our way, baby. Not bad. I'll take and that. it's linear, still pulling. Still pulling? Yeah, yeah dude. Coyote. I think that was only 7,500. What is that? It's right at 7,500. Brother, we got. 1500 more rpm to go yeah not bad oh, so like 13 up top for boost so we need to get to like 40. yeah, yeah. 40. Over there. yeah. 40 is a good solid number the engine can do it can the turbos make it there is the question see right. if they start making booster heat up there at well, 40 pounds we're working with rick and nate and we're gonna get this tune dialed in and hopefully we can go up from here but feeling solid sounded good all right here's the deal yeah, pretty good fuel. We're what, 5% off on that one? 5% off. We made 12 pounds of boost at the end of that pull, like 12.8. And that was 15 pounds on the dome. We're trying 30 pounds on the dome now. So it should make somewhere in the high 20s for boost. And I'm going to rev it to 8,500. So <laughs> this should be pretty good. And all right. This is probably all we need on the dyno. So let's hit the straps one click, James. Make sure it's dialed. 20 something pounds. This is the only car in the shop now that just pulls and pulls. I mean, it's pulling longer than the Supra. <laughs> it's pulling longer than the Man. Supra. And we're not there yet. 9,500 is about the limit. That was 8,500. So we got another 1,000 RPM. We can just keep singing. Honestly, if I didn't panic, we would have been good. So what we're going to do now is 22 pounds of boost is good. And we feel like we have the fuel map pretty good. So what we're gonna do is maybe add a couple degrees timing, run the same amount of boost, and see if it likes the timing. And then we get our timing a little bit closer, but so far, good power. All right, guys, well, everything's looking really good. We added one degree of timing. The only thing I'm worried about is all the smoke on the diesel. It's a little more than I'd like to see. So I talked to TKM, they said, oh, the rings could still be sealing. And then I talked to Precision because we're giving our turbos all the oil pressure. I always make a lot of oil pressure. We may need to just restrict them more than the factory restriction because we got all this oil pressure. So we're not gonna worry about that today. It's probably not a big deal, but something to think about. Anyway, we added one degree of timing, so let's see if it picks up. You know what you forgot to do? Uh, boost that brake check, dude. I know, I know. <laughs> I've been wanting to. I'm, I want to get it on the brake, but it's making pulls. I'm trying to keep her cool because we've done a lot of pulls back to back here. Hopefully, it picks up a bunch right here. Same boost. And then we know it's under time, we can start adding timing. All right. Timing's good. Timing is good. Dude, if we're adding timing, you know what to do, dude. A little coochie coo on old blue. <laughs> That's a four, dude. You got to rub that thing every pole. <laughs>
thousand RPM and the and the, the grass just yeah. nice and flat. Dude, that's only yeah, twenty one pounds one. of boost. It's so rowdy. <laughs> All right, well, uh, guys, we'll just keep making changes, but I really want to get it off the dyno and go to the track. Okay, guys, we actually just made the executive decision we're going to the track. We're not going to make any more dyno pulls. Dyno don't matter. Don't the matter. Track matters. But I do want to do a quick two-step check, see if it'll get up on the brake. Nate, do you want to watch if it gets lean or fat or whatever? First two-step check, boys, with the coyote. Oh, boy. She's about to scream. Hopefully it lights up quick like she used to, dude. Oh, it made 10 and a half. Yeah, right there. Oh, beautiful. Huh. Okay, I didn't know. I was I blacked out again, guys. I'm looking <laughs> at the wide bands. I'm like, that looks pretty good. It definitely comes up on the two-step a lot slower, but you gotta remember we went from a 7.3 liter, all the torque, to now a Coyote, 300 cubic inches. Whew. Five liters, a lot less. So it's a little longer, but I think it'll be okay. The problem with this car is it doesn't have a bump, so the trans brake can't creep. So James has to get in before his opponent and spool. So we're gonna have to optimize that time. Yeah, so we're gonna try and make it as fast as we can, but that's good, let's go to the track. Well, Ty, your turbo kit didn't blow off the car. That's good. You're still uh, undefeated on that. Good, good job, chair. brother. You got a great running vehicle here. We got a six second car on our hands, this boys. This is a weapon, dude. I think you guys did a great job building it. I mean, how smooth was that dyno session? Besides a couple of leaks. It is nice when there's nothing catastrophic yeah. on the dyno. It's always good. <laughs> Especially a day before the event. Yeah. All right, check time. Here we go. Oh, hood, no hood. Dude, you need your hood, dude. Your hood, Stop buddy. trying to drive off without the hood. Throw the freaking hood on it, guy. <laughs> Unbelievable. He's like, what about the hood? Yeah. Man, all day. You're trying to sneak Making out, dude. Fit. I know. I was like, who can get out of here no hood? <laughs> <laughs> no, he does. It'll be faster. No, 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 no. You can't give him these choices. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hood on. We're headed to the track. Wow, Ty. You didn't even put any ducks in the hood for the turbos? No, nothing. Wow. Some fab guy. Thought you liked making horsepower. does a wheelie it's on you just so you know <laughs> it's just right a uh, boost control tune on there we can chill out just go to the eighth or yeah we'll take something a, like that something soft to make sure everything's happy straight goes good and then okay jack stand are you prepared to pilot mick flurry on his first oh, ever yeah, coyote dude. run oh yeah I'm warning you right now I dr tunamal made the boost curve foot, so. so it may wheelie hopefully this, oh, you've hopefully, never driven a coyote hopefully this coyote can handle an ls foot dude well, the LS is sure can't, so. James going to come back wearing a Ford hat. Yeah. Nope. Never kissed me. All the LS is sure can't handle that foot, so let's see if the Coyote can. All right, guys. First run with the Coyote. Here we freaking go. All right. Here comes McFlurry. Looking good. Bubble hood. Man, we got us a race car here. Even though it's a Ford, still got to love her. Coyote burnout. Dude, you got my boy out here fully forded out right now, I know, dude. <laughs> I know, it's probably killing him. <laughs> I wasn't able to fix the shift light, so just I was just watching. Dude, it only goes to 8,000. I got the limiter at 9,500, so just let it rip. All right, but okay, it should be good. It's, it's gonna be a lot further than you think. Yeah. He's about to run that thing out. Woo! Oh, baby! Coyote Power McFlurry. Oh, man. All right, 
right, Jack Stan. Dude, she sounds good. It rolled to an eight, baby. Let's go. <laughs> 847. Nice and smooth. First, oh, oh, oh. First lick with the cut. The mile, the mile an hour is. Oh, brother. 125, 60 foot. Trash for McFlurry, dude. 521 in the eighth at 139 mile an hour. Okay. <laughs> mile an hour is there. That's so soft. It's so <laughs> soft. This thing's gonna fly, dude. All you yeah. do is twist the knob a little bit. We'll be good. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go, guys. That's solid. One thing we're gonna have to figure out is that spool time, because he doesn't have yeah. a Yeah, we're gonna have to cut it down. We can try a couple things and see. I don't know if we need to pull any timing out of that thing, because the turbos are so small. Yeah. So we could just try driving it up into the converter and see if it I think makes that's it quicker. The way. Yeah, because he can't bump in. Mm -hmm. So he has to light both bulbs and then spool, because of the Bruno. Yeah, that, I mean, we, earlier it was quicker because the converter was already hot for me on the dyno. So. Coyote is just yeah, we're it's sick, but we got our issues. Guy. It sounds so much cooler going on the dyno. Oh, yeah, oh, she sounds good. you hear that good. RPM? Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. she was singing. Getting all the way in it. Too. No. Phew. All right, let's go get it. All right. How did it feel to have a little bit more engine RPM Dude, to work with? I was with? like, watch it go to eight, and then I was like, three Mississippi in it, because it was just <laughs> singing. <laughs> Look it at that. like an F1 car. Dude. And that's the same boots you're on on the dyno, so about 20 oh, okay. pounds. Oh, that's, yeah, that's money. He's went 139 and 8. Yeah, that's rolling. Rolled to a mid 8 per yeah, slick. 847, 120. Yeah, I mean, the 125, 60 foot, 521, and 139. Yeah. It, the converter's definitely way tighter than it was. Yeah. I don't know if you could hear how long it took. It sounded great. There. All we gotta do now is knock a second and a half off, and we'll be in the sixes. Yeah. I mean, turn the boost to 40. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nate, get on that laptop, son. All right, dude, what do we got there? A crispy 24 PSI for boost. Jack Stan, you saw 8,700 out there on the 2-3 uh, shift. Ooh, look at that converter. Yeah. So we're going to throw some power at it. I don't think there is. And, uh, uh, see what it'll do. Faster. Yeah. yeah. How yeah, much boost did we leave on? Yeah. I think, honestly, I think we put the one that Left I on 11 pounds. Hot. If we put that one in there, it should be... Okay. Yeah, you do your thing, brother. This is all you. Wait, look at right up to 11. Yeah, shifting yep. by ear, dude. On the book. Shifting by ear, James nailed it. Right, you so turn my boy Jack stand up a notch? Yeah, so I had made this table for all of our switch settings. Yeah. So one was obviously pretty slow, so I went ahead and moved him on the switch up to seven. So it'll spice a little bit, give it a little bit more out the back door and a little bit more early. Is that what we ran out the back door with before was this 30 one, on yeah, the dome? Which okay. we had on and that's the like, dome. yeah, mid-20s. Yeah, 23, 24 pounds, so this should be... Maybe yeah. closer to 30. Yeah. All right. Think you can handle that? Coyote power? Come on. Don't make no torque going down that way. <laughs> oh, what'd you do to the starting line? Oh, so I also did, uh, I didn't pull any timing. I just kept it and I drove a little bit more timing under to get it up into the Under the two step? Yeah. We'll what about launch RPM? Should we change launch that at all? RPM's the same. I'm going to leave that alone and just try to drive I think it's like 4,300 or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I got on that switch. You can do 4,300, 44, 45, 4,600. You don't want to throw a hundred at it? I mean, we can. Throw a hundred at it. Boost coming in quicker, a little bit of RPM. Yeah, throw it up. Throw a hundred at it. All right. Jack stands in McFlurry. Got the fresh tune up, ready to make a rip. Oh! Oh, shit! It 
sounds so sick. Holy. 817 at 137. Dude, talk about some RPM. 128.60 foot. Wasn't even slower. Yeah. 510, 142. So it's yeah, picking up we, to the eighth. We need way more early. Way more. Way more. Like, like 15 shut pounds the gate, of boost. Let's go. <laughs> 15 pounds of boost on the line. Probably, yeah, a little bit more on the leave, but it's going to need like All boost ramp, not much of it. Just like get it in and start going. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's not, doing? Did the tune not change? Cause it's identical. I mean, forgot to load it. Do you love that RPM or what? Dude, the RPM is great. Yeah, she sounded so good, man. It's the sickest sounding car. Dude, wait till you hear it inside. Wait till you hear it inside. It sounds like an F1 car. It's weird. <laughs> Does not sound like a V8 at all. That's a problem. Good up to... Lost oil pressure on the leave. It was 80. What did it go down to? Ooh, all the way down to 30. We need to put some oil in this thing. Yeah, so the whole run is down on oil pressure. Let's throw two quarts in it. All right, guys, we're going to try and get this thing to leave a little bit harder, a little bit more boost. So we're going to do a two-step check, see if we can't get a little bit more boost out of it on the starting line. Alright, a little more boost, a little more here and there. Jack Sands getting suited up and ready to make a rip in McFlurry. Third rip of the night. Five. Nice. 142 in the eighth. Wow. Man. Oh, we'll do a seven. So we're gonna have to put a lot more dome on the back side of that thing. It's not picking up much mile per hour out the back. Yeah. Because them baby turbos yeah. are like, hey guys, uh, <laughs> we're not big turbos. <laughs> we can't breathe no more. 112 is pretty good. 314 to the 330. She's she's doing good, man. Hopefully we're not already out of turbo. Oh well, we can work with it down low, right? A little bit harder. Definitely yeah. hit it harder, but let's let's hope we got enough turbo to keep going. <laughs>
Dude, Did it, you feel the difference on that one? Yes, it's what it needed. Yeah. Solid. Solid. Solid rip. Solid, dude. solid. Little baby wheelie, little 112 to the 60. Little baby wheelie, yeah. dude. That's the first, first wheelie time. ever. <laughs> Woo. And look at that roll to a 796. Yeah, so I think we just need a couple clicks in that front end. Yeah, tighten her up a little bit. And uh, we added some boost up top. Didn't make yeah, much more mile per hour. Up. Wondering if we're getting there on turbo size. So Yeah, we'll have to see what it's doing up top. But I did uh, not short shift it a whole lot, but they were shorter shifts on that one. I saw that. What's wrong with you? Dude? I just, you thought you had no, no I was again? looking. I was looking at the light again. <laughs> I was watching the light. Hey, how about I set up your shift light for you? Yeah, that'd be great. Because that's what I went off of on that one. Because you got to use the board. Okay, oil pressure's good now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I was so worried. <laughs> It was just a little low. Okay. How much boost did it make up top? Manifold pressure, peak of 28. 28, dude. We need 40. We need 40. Sucker is working good. Fox Let's dude. go. Ty, what do you think? A couple clicks in that front end and slower it's down? Up a little bit. That'll help with the 60 foot a good bit too. Yeah. Instead of using your power to go up, you're going forward. Yeah, Mike, we might see a 1-0 out of this see bad girl. Damn, she works good. Fox body life. How we looking, Sam? Anything good? That looks great over here. Woo! How much oil did you add to it to get that back? Uh, about two and a half quarts. Okay. That's good. Yeah, so we just know it's a And we should do an oil change before we leave. Oh, yeah, for sure. If we don't do one before, we'll do one right when we get there. Hey, guys, as you know, we've got the 2.4 hours of Le Moulds coming up November 17th and 18th. The event is already going to be our best ever. We got monster trucks, Crown Vic racing burnouts. What could be more freedomatic? Well, here's the deal. This is what's going to be more freedomatic. Realize that maybe our event is missing something and maybe it's missing drag race. We're gonna be doing a free exhibition track day over at the drag strip, which is right next to the Freedom Factory. So if you're already coming to the 2.4 hours LA Mullets by Black Rifle or Cleveson Cards on Saturday, you're free to get into the exhibition run to the drag strip. We're gonna have McClurry, hopefully, Mullet, Leroy. We're just gonna make some passes, some other YouTubers and stuff like that. So you guys get to see the drag cars in action because we're trying to sweeten the deal and sell out LA Mullets. So, Get your tickets on thefoat.com slash Freedom Factory. Here's the link. The link's also in the description below. We gotta sell it out, guys. The 2.4 hours of Lame is presented by Black Rifle Coffee and Cleason Cards coming up right around the corner, November 17th and 18th. Grab your tickets. Well, that's enough talking. Let's get to the live action. Just so you guys know, these boost numbers right here, they were 40. Now they're 55. So that should hopefully get us up into the 32 pound of boost range. 30. I think that's what I'm thinking. And hopefully it doesn't wheelie. But, well, but you're ready, brother. I like wheelie. We don't have a shock sensor in the back, so I don't know if they top the rear out or not. We can put a couple Just clicks. tighten them up. You want to tighten the rear up a couple clicks, Ty? A couple clicks of rebound. Give us a couple clicks, buddy. Sam, you got this thing polished up. What are you using there, brother? Show us, show off your product. What we got? This is window cleaner. Oh. This still has glass. What do you use that on? Well, this is on the glass one, too. The glass window. What is that stuff? What do you use it on? Glass. Glass cleaner, right here. What about windows? Yes, you just don't like this too. <laughs> here we go. Get turned up now, brother. Here we go. Big rip coming up. Let's see what this thing does. Will she run out of turbo? Will she do a wheelie? We will find out. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the rings are broken sealed in. in. Yeah, it's broken in. Probably using oil change now. Probably. Beating on it pretty good since <laughs> it uh, first fired up. Yeah, she's uh, she's good now though. Yeah, DKM, you know, hanging in there. Don't worry guys, we're gonna take good care of it. Don't worry guys, we only made <laughs> one run with 20 pounds of oil for it. <laughs> didn't work. Now we know. Someone must need some. I can get a air bottle right over here. The problem is if that was low yeah. on the pass before the dome we were commanding, it probably wasn't making. Yeah. And now with a full bottle, it's going to make all of it that we just put in it. Oh yeah. And potentially make too much boost. So. I mean, we like oh. boost. Interesting. All right, McFlurry. Time to do something cool. There it out. Whoa! 
That was a spicy one. 11860 and then chaos. Yeah. Let's go take a look. Everything good? It was surging. Yeah, we think it might have hit a boost cut. Yeah. Which awesome. is good because now which we know it can get making, to 40. Yeah. Which means it's making more boost. So now you got all that CO2 over there yeah. and it's like, woo! Maybe these little turbos got more than we thought because we thought they were running out of steam. Had, uh, low, low yeah. Oh yeah, she hit 40 pounds, dude. <laughs> so now we basically have to remake the tune. No, we just raised the boost safety. Oh, James says raise the boost safety. We say turn it down a little bit. <laughs> hey, now we know those little turbos can make 40 PSI, dude. All right, guys, well, we just realized we got an issue on our hands here. We got a bunch of oil in our pan down there from our filter housing. So sadly, we're done. We're done, dude. So we gotta go to the shop and fix that, which means our test session's over, which means we're going to World Cup with some pretty good data. But, well, hey, we, we shook it down. We're way ahead of where we would have been if we did no test. And we have so much on the table, we just realized. Yeah, we had an empty seat too. But it still had the 40 dome, but there's just, I guess the volume, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's a good thing he didn't get 40 pounds of booze with all that oil in his yeah. pan, because that would've been kinda ugly. everything happened. Yeah. So we gotta take the car back to the shop, we gotta fix it and head to World Cup as it is, but I mean, promising day of testing. World Cup, we're going 107 of the 60 foot and a 687. Okay, all right. Ty, what do you think about that? I mean, I'd like to see that, that'd be awesome. <laughs> How are you feeling about this Coyote life? I mean, this I'm, is everything you've wanted. How are you feeling about the Coyote life? Dude, I'll drive anything with wheels and horsepower, you know? But, but you gotta RPM, admit, it's pretty sweet. This F1 car sound and RPM this thing has, unreal, dude. That's pretty cool. Like, oh, listen to that, this dude. Guy, this guy came back after the first crash. This is the best sounding engine. We ever. might have just got it Jack never. Sand to compliment a Ford engine. I will engine. never own a Ford engine myself <laughs> in any of my races. Oh, my but God. If you want me to drive them, I'll drive them. All right, That's guys. Like yeah. Great oh. testing for McFlurry. McFarland Racing Boys is making it happen. It's unreal that we got this thing done in time. Got a little issue an oil leak that should be no big deal so we should be good for world cup but we'll find out when we get there that's it for now thanks for watching do it for dale we'll freaking see you later boogity 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 let's go racing 2.4 hours on all the drivers are out high-fiving dude this is this is american motorsport What a blast! I hope you guys at home are having fun.